Good morning students. Welcome back to English online classes. Today is the day 15 session. In this session, I would like to teach you the second lesson, the tsunami. First of all, you must know what is tsunami. You all know what is tsunami children? Yes. Tsunami is a Japanese word with English translation harbor wave. Tsunami is a Japanese word with the English translation harbor wave. It is represented by two characters. Uh, the top character uh, TSU, that is Su means harbor and the bottom character uh, Nami means wave. So, Tsunami means harbor wave. And you must know uh, when was the first uh, so tsunami occurred? Where it was occurred? It was occurred in the coast of Syria. It occurred in the coast of Syria 4000 years ago. It occurred in the coast of Syria 4000 years ago. Now let us start the lesson children. Keep the books all in front of you. A tsunami is a very large and powerful wave caused by earthquakes under the sea. On 26 December 2004, a tsunami hit Thailand and parts of India such as Andaman and Nicobar Islands and the Tamil Nadu coast. Here are some stories of courage and survival. See, actually, you must know what are the causes of uh, so, tsunami children. Uh, by the earthquakes and uh, volcanic eruptions, uh, terrestrial uh, I mean, land landstills and terrestrial lands, all this uh, are the causes of tsunami or all, all this are the causes of tsunami so by the earthquakes also tsunami occurs so a tsunami is a very large and powerful wave caused by earthquakes under the sea so a tsunami is a very large and powerful wave which is caused under the uh, which is caused by earthquakes under the sea so this earthquakes that cause under the sea so on 26 december 2004 a tsunami hit Thailand and parts of India such as Andaman and Nicobar Islands and the Tamil Nadu coast. So on 26 January and 26 December 2004 what happened? A tsunami occurred. <coughs> it hit Thailand and parts of India. It not only hit Thailand, it also hit the parts of India such as uh, Andaman and Nicobar Islands and the Tamil Nadu coast. You all were aware I think so in the year 2004 the tsunami came and uh, it hit uh, the parts of Tamil Nadu and more people they lost their lives children. Here are some stories of courage and survival. So now I am going to tell you uh, in this lesson they have given some uh, the one who were very courage in, in, in the survival those who have survived from this uh, tsunami their stories have been given in this lesson. Let us read children. Did animals sense that a tsunami was coming? Some stories suggest that they did. So actually they say that uh, so animals have the sense that the, when the tsunami is going to come, we people don't know that much, but the animals can sense, the animals can sense that the tsunami, so that the tsunami is going to come. Some stories suggest that they did. So most of some stories say that really an animal can sense that a tsunami is going to come. These stories are all from the Andaman and Nicobar archipelago. So now I'm going to tell some stories. All the stories come from where? Come from Andaman and Nicobar and archipelago. And archipelago is a place which is in Andaman and Nicobar. Now I'm going to tell some stories which all come from Andaman and Nicobar and archipelago. Ignatius was the manager of a cooperative society in Kach Kachhan. His wife woke up, woke him up at 6 a.m. because she felt an earthquake. See, Ignatius was the manager of a cooperative society in Kachhan. So, Ignatius was the name of one person. He was he was working where he was working in a cooperative society. He was working as a manager in a cooperative society. Where he was working, he was working in Kachhan. One day his wife woke him up. At what time she woke him up? She woke him up at 6 a.m. Why she woke him up children? Because she felt an earthquake. Why did she wake him up? Because she felt that earthquake has come. That is why she woke him up. Ignatius carefully looked his television, took his television, set off its table and put it down on the ground so that it would not fall and break. Then the family rushed out of the house. So when his wife 
uh, suddenly woke him up that network has, has come. So what did he do? He carefully took his television set off his table. Means he carefully took the television with the table and it, he put, put it on the ground. He put the table on the ground and he took the television so that it would not fall and break. So that it would not fall and break. Then the family rushed out of the house. So after taking the television, all the family members, they rushed out of the house. When the tremors stopped, what do you mean by tremors children? A slight shake earth tremors. That is, the earth shakes during an earthquake. Tremors means during the earthquake, slowly that uh, ground also will shake. The ground will, the earth will shake. The earth will shake during the tsunami. That is, I mean, uh, during the earthquake, during the earthquake, the earth shakes. That is called tremor. So, slowly the tremor stopped. First it was, the, the, shake, the shake came. The earth shake that she got scared that there was an earthquake. So, she uh, woke up her husband. But after when they rushed out of the house, suddenly the tremor stopped. Means the shaking of the ground stopped. They saw the sea rising in the chaos and confusion. So, chaos means complete disorder or confusion pronounced as chaos. How, do, how we should pronounce it? Chaos we should pronounce. So, complete disorder or confusion. So, when the tremor stopped, they saw the sea rising. In the chaos and confusion, two of the children caught hold of the hands of their mother's father and mother's brother and rushed in the opposite direction. He never saw them again. So, what happened? When they all rushed outside, there was a small confusion. And what happened? Two of his children caught hold of the hands of their mother's father and mother's brother. So what these two children did in the confusion when they went outside two of his children means two of Ignatius has two children. Those two children what they did mother's father means they took uh, they were catching hold of his grandfather and mother's brother and mother's brother means uncle. So two of the children what they did they caught hold of their grandfather's hands and also their uh, their mother's brother means their uncle's hands and they rushed in opposite direction. There has been opposite direction. He never saw them again. So, when, he, when, they, when they rushed outside, all of them came at a time from the house. But what happened? He was in a confusion. He is, afterwards, he saw that his two children were missing. Means they were not missing. They were with his uh, grandfather and that uh, uh, with his uncle. They went in another direction. He never saw them again. He never saw them again. His wife was also swept away. So, he was alone and his two children were with his grandfather and uncle and his wife was not with him. She was swept away in the earthquake. Only the three other children who came with him were saved. So, only the other three children who were with him, they were saved. Means that uh, oh, only the three other children means not his children's children. Uh, his two children were... Uh, we went with his grandfather, but other three children came now. They were not his children. They, he, he, he saved the three children. Children who were with him. Sanjeev was a policeman servicing in the Kachal Island of the Nicobar group of islands. He somehow managed to save himself, his wife and his baby daughter from the waves. So, Sanjeev was a policeman serving in the Kachal Island of the Nicobar group of islands. So, Sanjeev was a policeman. Sanjeev was the was a policeman. He was very was serving. He was serving in Kachal Island of the Nicobar group of islands. He somehow managed to save himself. So Sanji was a policeman who was uh, doing his service in Kachal Island. Somehow he has been saved. He managed to be saved. Save himself, his wife and his baby daughter from the waves. So what did the policeman do? Policeman not only saved himself, he also saved his wife and his uh, children and small uh, baby daughter also. He saved the, th the three people. But then he heard cries for help from the wife of John, the guest, guest house cooker. So he was saved and his wife was saved, his children were saved. But he heard some cries, cries from, for, for help. Somebody was crying. Then he went there. Then what did he see children? From the wife of the, help from the wife of John, the guest house cooker. So somebody was crying for help. So when he went, when he just went there, he saw it was none other than the, um, guest house cook. The guest house cook name is John. His wife was crying for help. Sanjeev jumped into the water to rescue her but they were both swept away. So poor thing. He was saved and his uh, wife was saved. His children were saved. But suddenly when he heard the cry of some others, he, when he went there he saw it was none other than the 
Gaston's cook, uh, John's wife, she was uh, crying for help. He went there to help her. He just, he jumped into the water to save her. But what happened? Both the John's wife and this man, this policeman, both were swept away in the, they were swept away in the water. 13 year old Meghna was swept away along with her parents and 77 other people. So, another girl, her name is Meghna. What is her age children? Her age is 13 years old. So, 13 years old Meghna also was swept away in the, swept away along with her parents. Not only she, along with her parents, she was swept away. And 77 other people also, that they, were swept, they were drowned in the water, we can say. She spent two days floating in the sea. So, but Meghna, we, now I said that she swept away. What happened? After two days, she was floating in the sea. She was floating in the sea, holding on to a wooden, wooden door. So what happened? Now, I told that she was swept away. But after two days, she was just holding that, just catching, she was just floating on the sea and she was catching that wooden door. Eleven times she saw relief helicopters overhead, but they did not see her. She was brought to the shore by a wave and was found walking on the seashore in a daze. So, eleven times when she was just floating on the sea, eleven times she saw the he helicopter which was on her head, but nobody has noticed her. She, she was just calling for rescue, but nobody has noticed her. Then what happened? She was brought to the shore by a wave. Then how, how was she saved, children? She was saved by the wave. The waves will be coming like this now. So the waves brought her to the shore. And, and, and someone found her. She was walking on the seashore. Almas Javed was 10 years old. She was a student of Carmel Convent in Port Blair where her father had a petrol pump. See, now here, Almas Javed was 10 years old. Who was 10 years old? Almas, Almas Javed was 10 years old. Uh, she, she was a student of Carmel Convent in Port Blair. So, uh, she was studying in Carmel Convent, which was in Port Blair, uh, where her father was uh, working in a petrol bunk, petrol pump, I'm sorry. Her mother, Rahilia's home was in Nankowri Island. The family had gone there to celebrate Christmas. So, what happened? Her mother, Rahilia, or Rahilia's home was in Nakori Island, the family had gone there to celebrate Christmas. See, here Almas Javed was 10 years old. She, she was uh, she was student of Carmel Convent in Port Blair. Her father was working in a petrol pump. Her mother, Rahilia's home was in Nankori Island. This Almas Javed's uh, mother's uh, home is uh, in, in Nankori Island. The family had gone there to celebrate Christmas. The family all went there to celebrate Christmas. When the tremors came early in the morning, the family was sleeping. Almas's father saw the sea water recede. Recede means move back from where it was. So when the wave comes it again, it moved back from where it was. From it, it came just forward and just it went back. So when the when the tremors came early in the morning, what happened? The family was all sleeping. But Almas's father, he saw the sea water, sea water recipients. When, when suddenly he woke up, he saw that the sea water, just it came front and again it went back. He understood that the water would come rushing back with great force. He woke everyone up and tried to rush them to a safer place. So when he woke up, he saw that the, uh, that the water came up. And just it was, and it again it went back. He thought that the when it went back again, it is going to come. It will rush forward. It will rush forward with a great force, and then it is going to attack us. He saw. He thought. So he what he did? He woke everyone in the family. He woke up everyone in the family and tried to rush to a safer place. As they ran, her grand grandfather was hit on the head by something, and he fell down. So when all the he woke up all the family, and everybody tried to uh, run away from that. From Amprinda, run away from that place. What happened? When the grandfather was coming, what happened? Some Something hit on his head. Something hit on his head and he fell down. Her father uh, rushed to help him. So, Almana's father went to help his grandfather. Then what happened? Then came the first giant wave that swept both of them away. So, father went to save grandfather's life. Then what happened? Both grandfather and Almas, uh, Almas, uh, Almas fa father and the grandfather both, both, both stepped, both stepped away. 
Alma's mother and aunts stood clinging to the leaves of a coconut tree. So father went to rescue grandfather and both swept away. Then what happened? Alma's mother and aunts. So Alma's mother and her aunts. Everybody were clinging to the coconut leaves. They were just, they were just catching hold of the uh, coconut leaves and, and stood there calling out to her. A wave uprooted the tree and they, were, and they too were washed away. So they were just um, crying for help. Then what happened? When a, when a big wave came, they just they were unable to catch that uh, coconut leaves. So everybody were washed away. Everybody were washed away in the water. Anna saw a log of wood floating. She climbed onto it, then she fainted. So Alma saw also this, uh, everybody were, uh, were washed away, but but it was a luck that Almas was, Almas when suddenly she saw a log, you all know a log, no? a wooden log, that was floating in the, that was floating and she just, uh, she, she, she climbed onto that and after climbing onto the log, she, she, she got fainted. When she woke up, she was in a hospital in Camorata. So, she was just on the log for so, so much time and when she woke, woke up, what happened? She was not on the log, she was in the hospital. There was a hospital. The hospital was in Camarota. 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 From there she was brought to Port Blair. So after uh, she was first she was in Camarota in hospital. From Camarota hospital she was again uh, brought, brought to Port Blair. The little girl does not want to talk about the incident with anyone. She is still traumatized. Traumatized means greatly shocked and distressed. So after she got cured in the hospital, she did not talk about the incident, what happened to her to anybody else because she was in a shock. Because she, she saw her grandmother and aunt and mother, everybody washed away and she too was washed away by, by great luck. She, she just she saw a log in the sea and just she sat on that. When I mean, she climbed on the uh, log and after fainted, what happened? She was taken to the hospital and she was cured. But she was in a great shock. She, she was unable to tell what happened to her, she was unable to express to anyone else because she was in a great shock. So students, I hope you all understood this uh, part 1. There are part part 1, part 2, part 3 are there children. Just I explained about the part 1. You just read the lesson properly and meanings are given there on the, on the left and the right side children. You have to see that. All meanings are given. Received meaning, relief of helicopters, Archipelago, Strummer, Chaos, everything is, Archipelago means a group of many islands and the surrounding sea. Archipelago means a group of many islands and so, so please read the meaning and if you find any, uh, any other meaning which I have not told you, just underline it and just refer the dictionary. Hope you all understood and enjoyed the lesson children.